The supply and confidence deal between the NDP and Liberals includes a commitment to pass a Canada Pharmacare Act by the end of 2023. Joining me now to discuss is Laurie Turnbull, political analyst. Good morning, Laurie. Good to see you. So the Liberals are saying it's not likely to happen. Where does this leave? Let's begin with the bill and then the NDP and then the Liberals. Take your pick as to where you want to go first. Yeah. Okay. So I think that it is highly unlikely that we will see um, it's certainly nothing passed by the end of the year. Uh, I think it's probably even unlikely that we'll see anything introduced by the end of the year. I don't know that that is uh, a huge deal at this point, and I don't think it's a big surprise. In light of the tone and the and the content of the fiscal update we saw last week, there is no extra room uh, in the budget, obviously, for something like this at this point. And so I think the Liberals are probably comfortable enough to say this is not what we're going to do right now. And the NDP, we could hear over the past couple of weeks, started to kind of get a little bit looser in their language around yeah, okay, if it doesn't come through, uh, you know, we're, we're willing to move on the deadline a bit. But I think it's really going to turn on the heat after the holiday when there's a sense, okay, like this this deal is riding on this. The NDP have really focused on this as the key issue. And so if we don't see something introduced on this front in, you know, sometime soon and certainly before the spring budget, then where does that leave the pharmacare situation? And are we supposed to then think that maybe the Liberals are having second thoughts? The Liberals are having second thoughts. I'm wondering about the NDP having second thoughts, Lori. Well, I mean, again, like they, they've got, um, Singh has a mandate from his party, which we heard, you know, reiterated again in October at their convention, that they expect Singh to either get this thing done yeah. or they've given given him permission to say, you can walk from the deal. And, you know, at a certain point, I think that permission to walk from the deal becomes an expectation that he will do so if this is not going to be seen through. And so then it becomes around how the deal around pharmacare is actually framed. So they can introduce legislation anytime that says, here's a framework and then not actually do the thing for a while right so i'm assuming that what the ndp are going to want to see is not just the the skeleton not just the framework not just the legislation but actually the money and actually the the steps toward getting this done and they and i'm assuming they would want to see that in place before you know another election sort of thing if not are the ndp will willing to pull the plug over this maybe for the for the members they're saying yes you know this is this is enough for us that we're that we're not going to that we don't want to continue to back the government if they're not going to do pharmacare on the other hand you look at the polls and does Singh want to go back and explain to his party why he just teed up a majority government for Paul Pierre Polyev probably not ah uh, explain to the cynics in our uh, audience Lori how how serious are the liberals are the liberals serious about making this bill happen has the dynamic changed I mean, I think the the dynamic has got a lot to do with the fiscal situation because if they if they pump billions of dollars into the system for a new program like this, and this is obviously going to be a, this would be a huge social program, and it would be a major price tag that goes along with it, and it would have a huge effect. And and the PBO has pointed out this would take down the amount that's actually spent on drugs, but it would put that that cost in the hands of the government. And I think in this fiscal situation, that's not what they want to be doing. I think we're we're seeing that the government is trying to show that they're on, they're moving towards some uh, sense of fiscal responsibility, fiscal prudence, and they get a lot of criticism for having not done that. So it's possible that the Liberals are willing to go to the polls and say, we didn't do this now because it wasn't the right time. Vote for us again and we'll do it for you. But we didn't do it because of the fiscal situation. And that's a, you know, that's a tricky argument to make, I think. Maybe the NDP are fine going to the polls and say, yeah, we pulled the plug on this because we wanted to make sure PharmaCare was there for you. Meanwhile, the Conservatives are going to watch the two of them fight and laugh about it because they're doing great in the polls. And I think Pierre Polyev is, is you know, ready to take this thing to the polls anytime people want. So it's interesting to see this. There's the fiscal side, there's the political side, there's the policy side too, because the NDP are saying, well, the longer they take, we're going to demand more things. Well, what does that mean? Because presumably if something was important to the bill and they want to see the right thing, they would get that in the bill regardless of the timing. So I don't know. I think we're seeing... Um, the tensions right now and the NDP trying to figure out what they're going to do with this thing and how they're going to manage those timelines. Well, and you raise an interesting point by putting it to Canadians to decide in potential, possibly an election. um, I mean, somebody's got to pay for this new pharmacare program. Yeah, exactly. And uh, th- this is obviously going to involve, too, like pretty difficult conversations with the provinces who are always looking yeah. for the feds to provide more money for health care. So there's so many ways that this cuts. And it, I think ultimately, yeah, it comes down to 
when are people ready to go to an election? The, the Liberals are setting the table for having this in 2025. You can see on Trudeau's uh, Twitter, it's all, you know, vote, vote for Trudeau in 2025, right? 2025 is the key. And so I think they're going to want to definitely put the responsibility on the NDP for an early election if it does happen. And we don't know that. Maybe they'll sort something out between now and the next budget. But I think as long as the Liberals are trying to, to put the weight on fiscal uh, responsibility, fiscal prudence at this point, and they're trying to find savings, and the NDP are saying, no, we want this, and this was the point of, of the deal. I think they can only push this for so long, where maybe they, they walk away from the deal, but that doesn't mean an, an election. Like we, we might see a whole bunch of, of different things unfold in the early part of 2024 as the parties try to find their feet 